Okay, so in this question they say, which equation is an example of the use of the associative property in addition? So here, um, associative property applies to both addition, right, and it applies to multiplication, right? So we want to be careful here that uh, whatever choice we pick, it only deals with addition. And it's saying that if we add up three numbers or multiply, um, it doesn't matter how we group them, 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 3 first, uh, in, in both cases, these two expressions are balanced. It won't matter, right? How do we associate or add the numbers? So that's what we're looking for here. The first one, x plus 7, uh, should be equal to 7 plus x, of course. So that's the commutative property, right? The numbers commuted or moved around. Commutative property. The second choice, 3 times x plus y equals 3x plus 3y. That's true, but that's the distributive property over addition, right? We're multiplying a number over addition, 3 times x and then 3 times y. The third case, um, here, this is our associative property because all that's happening, right, the digits are in the same order, x, y, 3, x, y, 3, it's all addition, except in choice 3, we're adding the x and the y first, but in, in the second part of choice 3, we're adding y plus 3 first, and that is the associative property. You can group one or the other, uh, and they will be equal, right? And we are adding, so that's true. Now, choice four looks like the associative property because the brackets do move, but if you pay attention here, three plus x plus y, um, what's happened on this side of the expression is that x plus y moved first. It moved from here to here, and the three moved from the first spot to the second. That's really the commutative property, right, where the order of the terms is changing, and the outcome is, is still equal. That's the commutative property. Okay, I hope this helped.